Kenya had a target of 2022 to eradicate female genital mutilation. When 2024, and a report is already out that the North is actually leading in the burden when it comes to matters of FGM cases that are reported with uh, Kisi coming in at position five. Question is, what is being done by those that are charged with this particular mandate? Joining us tonight is none other than Ipato Korema Surum, who is the chairperson of the Anti-FGM Board. Karibu sana, ma'am. I must, you look very nice. Thank you so much. Yes, I like the outfit. Thank you. Now, the campaigners and also there are those naysayers who have said that despite the figures indicating a drop to 15 percent mm. in terms of cases reported cases of uh, fgm that that is not the actual uh statistics on ground you've worked you've been on ground what is your take in regard to this yeah you know someone may say it is not the actual figures mm -hmm. And uh, there is no figure that is always exact when okay. statistics are mm -hmm. being carried on. Uh, this, the, the statistics we are using now are from the Kenya Demographic Health Service yes. that was carried out between 2014 and 2020, released in 2022. 2022. Yes. So that is where the source of the statistics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it is the statistics being used all over the country. Mm -hmm. And it is not only taking surveys on uh, only only FGM. The indicators are so many. Yeah, they including do for nutrition, for, uh, mother Even to mother to father, as well as also gender-based violence. Gender -based but then violence. the question is: Then have the numbers, you know, of FGM victims or other reported cases dropped? Then, yeah, according to the statistics. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, the intervals yes. that the surveys are being carried on from 1998 to 2022, it has tremendously done, go, gone it down. It has dropped. So from where you sit as a board then, Madam Ipato, mm -hmm. what has led to this, you know, gradual drop yeah. in our rights of, it's a rights of passage, yeah. though prohibited mm -hmm. under the Kenyan law. Yes. What has led to this drop? It has been uh, dropped by so many, mm -hmm. so many factors. Uh, first is when it was realized and taken as a human right violation in Kenya and this board was put in place by 20, uh, 20, no, 2011. The, the, the law was taken to parliament in 2011 and passed and then the board started in 2014. Mm -hmm. Beyond that we had always have, uh, we have always had uh, other partners working on the ground like the NGOs that we have, the churches, and people going to school. Mm -hmm. So education. Like Actually, it indicates that uh, prevalence of FGM among those who've attained mm -hmm. uh, secondary school yes. is at 5%. Yes. And when you compare to those who haven't attended school, sure. is at around 50 point yes, something percent. Yes. So it shows that that education is a positive yeah, the move more, when the it more comes. People, the more you get educated, mm -hmm. the lesser children will go through and now, FGM. Uh, UNICEF report of 2021 indicates that now we have a new term, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to FGM. Yes. We have now medicalized female genital mutilation mm -hmm. is on the rise. Yes. As a board, have you encountered with these cases? And why is this form of FGM now mm -hmm. uh, taking root or rather becoming popular? It is still under research, mm -hmm. though it has been identified mostly in Kiss County. Kisi County. That medicalization is at around 17%. Mm -hmm. uh, this medicalization is is something I can say it's outlawed. It is not something that is uh, accepted el anywhere uh, because it is a way to try and convince the community that w we are not going to harm anybody. It is being done for med commercialization. Mm -hmm. You may find that most people who are uh, doing it, practicing it, are uh, the retired medics. Okay. who does it in hidden places, they are not coming out clear and doing it openly. So medicalization in itself, is not, it doesn't mean that it is, uh, you know, a medically approved no, procedure. No, 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 no. It it's is just being that it is done in formal setups. It is being practiced by medics. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Especially the retirees. Especially the retirees. Yes. On that note, in as far as matters of FGM are concerned, we take a fast break. Remember, you can also be part of this conversation. Get us on X at KBC Channel 1. And the question I'm posing to you as a viewer, where are the men in this conversation when you talk about female genital mutilation? Do not go away. We'll be right back.